you know, when you have a balanced offense or when you run the ball, it's, it's obviously better for the offensive line. I'm assuming it's not as fun for the wide receivers uh, because they're not getting all the catches. They're making the TikToks and they're, 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 they're having fun on their social media. Well, that's certainly one way to welcome yourself to the team. Don't get mad. Uh -huh. It's just what it is. It's what it is. Yeah, we talking sports shot out in Graven Vans. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And Alejandro Villanueva, he had his introductory press conference to the Baltimore Ravens yesterday and boy he had some things to say but of course the biggest one that caught the most people's attention was his comment about the wide receivers not having as much fun they probably had more fun doing the TikTok dances and stuff uh but it was I, I think that was a joke man I don't think he was serious about it I just do not see himself it's not like he had a bad breakup with Pittsburgh and he said Pittsburgh let him know like hey we're going to be going in a different direction. So, they, and he, let, he, he said they let him know that early on in the process. And y'all, if y'all are like me, I mean, I, I do a lot of stuff last minute, like a, a lot of stuff last minute. But I do appreciate if I like have plans with somebody, uh, I appreciate the fact that they let me know if those plans are changing ahead of time rather than at the last minute. Like, hey, we're going to grab something to eat. At about 7 o'clock. Okay, you know me. I'll show up about 7.30. But if they hit me up at about like 7.15 and say, Ah, you know what? Never mind. We ain't going anymore. I'm going to be a little bit upset. Because, I mean, I was going to show up late already. But the fact that you let me know 15 minutes before my arrival time, I'm going to be upset. But anyway, the Steelers, they let him know. Uh, from the jump. So again, I, I don't think there's any bad blood between him and Pittsburgh or anything like that or him and Juju Smith-Schuster. I'm sure they are all friends. But anyway, um, he did say that playing the Steelers, that was that gave him a little bit of motivation uh, with signing with the Baltimore Ravens. And you can understand that because this is the team that was like, okay, we love you, but we don't love you enough to keep you around. We're going in a different direction. And not that he has a problem with it, but this is a chance to show like, hey, Okay, you want to go in a different direction? Oh, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something respectfully. Uh, but shout out to him. And, and real quick, before we get more into this video, uh, I got to say, Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I, I, I love y'all a lot. Um, there is a lot of work that goes into these videos. It's a whole lot of work. Um, and I, I really appreciate y'all coming through, watching the videos, uh, spreading just the positivity. See, I see all the positivity on Instagram, on Twitter, on uh, YouTube, of course, the comment section. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for supporting. Uh, real quick, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Um, I just love everybody on Team Keep It Clean, man. I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all uh, because it's a lot. It, it, it is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. I, I, and the fact that y'all come through and support it, it means a whole lot. So thank you. Appreciate y'all. Um, but back to uh, Alejandro, some other things he talked about, uh, because a lot of people have questioned how difficult the transition from left tackle to right tackle would be, because of course, Ronnie Stanley is the Ravens left tackle. He ain't going anywhere. He's staying in his position. Hopefully he comes back and he is 100% healthy. Um, but Alejandro Villanueva, uh, when I saw how much they were paying him, and it's essentially a one year, $8 million deal, because that's all that's guaranteed. But um, that's not backup money. That's That's starter money. So they are paying him to start on the offensive line. Um, so with that being said, he he hasn't really played right tackle like that. But in his words, not mine, uh, he said the transition will be uh, more difficult in the playbook than it is to go from left to right tackle. So he said learning the playbook, that will be harder than him making a switch. So that's a good thing. Uh, and he said the Ravens playbook is like what he did in <laughs> We're not even going to get into that, man. Anyway, uh, he talked about Lamar Jackson. He spoke about Lamar Jackson. And you know that anytime any player joins the Ravens, that is one of you. You, you better have that answer ready because you know that those reporters are going to ask you, 
Ooh, what is it like to play with Lamar Jackson? And I mean, that is a good question, but it doesn't matter what position you play. Even if you play on defense, what does it mean to play with Lamar Jackson? Even if you are a, a water boy, what does it mean to, to get water for Lamar Jackson? Even if you're a cameraman, how is it like taking pictures of Lamar Jackson? So, uh, and I mean, he is a, a huge, uh, he is the face of the franchise. So that's understandable. But uh, a lot of times it's just, it's, it's almost funny hearing that question asked. But of course, him being an offensive lineman, he's going to be blocking for Lamar Jackson. So he's going to have a lot of work to do. Uh, and he said, I, I don't think there's any doubt in anyone's mind that when you see Lamar Jackson play, you want to do everything for him, protect him, and uh, continue to see the magic that he displays on the field. And that's true because um, Lamar Jackson, he not only brought, obviously, all the talent in the world to the Ravens, especially when they made the switch. But one of the biggest things that he brought to the team when they officially switched to him, he brought this vibe, man. He brought this vibe. He brought energy. He brought new life into the team. I remember, and I never forget it. I brought it up several times before over the years when Lamar Jackson first started starting. Like, obviously the team was four and five and they were headed nowhere fast. But when they inserted Lamar Jackson, like, and, and Harbaugh was like, hey, my job is on the line. This may look cringy, but I'm about to do this dance right here with Lamar Jackson, too. Y'all remember it. I remember. It ain't look like this now. It looked more Harbaugh style, but Harbaugh was like, hey, this is the guy we rolling with. This is the guy who hopefully will save me. Lamar, I'm rocking with you. And, hey, it worked out big time for both of them. Um, so, but I just, I, I remember that. <laughs> I just, the energy that he brought, it was crazy. It was crazy. And it was infectious and it was contagious. It started spreading around everybody else and it just changed the Ravens, the culture. It changed everything. So you could understand why Harbaugh was rocking with him so hard. But whenever somebody comes to the Ravens and they're asked about Lamar Jackson, his energy alone, man, his energy alone is one of the biggest characteristics of him, in my opinion. And I'm obviously on the outside looking in. I don't know him personally. Uh, I almost feel like I do since he's from uh, Florida, South Florida at that. But um, <laughs> shout out to Lamar, man. Uh, something else that he talked about, Alejandro Villanueva, not Lamar. Uh, he said that uh, it was challenging as an offensive lineman to pass the ball almost the whole game. <laughs> Shout out to my guy, Cam Neal, because I know he appreciated that press conference like crazy, man. Um, but he said it was challenging to uh, pass the ball almost the whole game. Um, and you got to understand that. And something that my, my guy Cam pointed out in the comment section yesterday was that with uh, Alejandro Villanueva, I mean, no, with offensive lineman, excuse me, that he he hates third and longs, fourth and longs, he hates those long downs and distances because as an offensive lineman, you just got to stand there and the defense can pin their ears back and come at you. They, they, they just come at you and you got to just wait. But when you're running the ball and you're running the ball successfully, you're going at them. So this is why with Alejandro Villanueva, I know a lot of Steelers fans are like, oh, man, we let that guy go for a reason. That's the reason right there, man. He's not a good pass protector, man. But it's going to be harder to establish yourself as a good pass protector when all you do is pass the ball. And they're like, that's it. You don't run the ball well and you don't run the ball often. So all the stats are going to be that much more, uh, that, that more maximized. Uh, but anyway... Um, he said, uh, yeah, oh yeah, he said that it allows the pass rushers to pin their ears back. And he said, having balance with more running, he'll be able to be more of an aggressor. And he welcomes the change. Um, so that, that's a good thing, man. Uh, or especially for him, especially for offensive linemen. Like, Ravens, I know uh, with John Harbaugh, months ago, we remember the press conference where he said, oh, we're not begging any receivers to come to the race. No, we're we not doing that. No, we ain't begging nobody. We ain't doing that. And, of course, this is not a receiver's dream offense, but we do expect them to change some things in the offense this year uh, when it comes to the pass catchers and the passing. Um, but this is definitely any offensive lineman's dream.
That will always be a position where the Ravens never have to worry about recruitment, never have to worry about anybody turning them down, ever. They don't have to worry about that at all. Offensive line, this is an offensive, a, a run first offense, a run friendly offense, a run second, a run third, a run fourth offense. Oh, yeah. This, this is an offensive lineman's dream. A dream. So, <laughs> Anyway, man, um, he said that with him joining the Ravens, it wasn't a tough decision at all. Uh, he said everybody from the top to the bottom, they were pretty awesome. Uh, and he, uh, and, and that's something, that's one thing about the Ravens, man. We may not always agree with every move that they make, every signing, every draft pick, every trade. We may not always agree with every, every move that they make. We, of course, support it and hope that everything works itself out. Um, but one thing that you cannot say about the Baltimore Ravens team, their organization and whatnot, is that they rarely, rarely have players that even when they leave, that they hate it and that they have bad things to say about it. It's very, very rare. It does. It doesn't really have. I, I can only think of one. Uh, I'm trying to think if I could think of two. That didn't have the best exit from the Ravens. Oh, well, yeah, like maybe one and a half. Maybe, so maybe like one and a half, yeah. But it's, it's, it's rare. It is very rare. And that is a beautiful thing to be able to say about your team, about your franchise, uh, because that says a lot. It's like if somebody's working at a job. And whether they got laid off from a job, <laughs> hey, that's me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> or they got fired or they're still working there, whatever it may be. Um, if there's a company that you worked for uh, and you just, even though it didn't end the greatest, it ended prematurely or well, it ended prematurely for me, but I'm glad that it ended prematurely because, yeah, we like our job a lot better now. But um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about my previous employer. I, I, I really don't. Because where I was at, what I was doing, I was really enjoying it. And I enjoyed the people that I worked with. And I enjoyed the people that I worked for. Uh, and it was just, it was great. At least my, the, the position that I was in before I got laid off. <laughs> the previous position before that, before I got promoted. Ooh, that, oh, man, that one was, <laughs> wouldn't be the same for that one. But anyway, you, you get my point. So with Alejandro Villanueva, he's going to fit right in, man. He is going to fit right in, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to him, man. It should be fun. And again, I told y'all, man, when he blocking for, against them Steelers, them hands, they're going to be ready. They're going to be ready. Uh, they, of course, said that he was going to wear the number 78, and that number 78 looks pretty familiar. Uh, we've been seeing it for the past, what, three years on Orlando Brown Jr.? Uh, but that was already his number when he was with Pittsburgh, so there's no pettiness there. So, yeah, that's it. Welcome, Alejandro, to the Ravens. You are going to fit right in, my friend. Right in. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I hope y'all have an amazing, an amazing, an amazing, amazing, amazing Thursday, or really whenever you're watching this. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out. <laughs>